Your Zoe gynecologic simulator is an ideal tool for both demonstration and practice. This video will introduce you to the contents of your Zoe kit, show you how to assemble the model, how to care for and maintain it, and what some of its applications are. The information presented here also can be found in the instructional manual included with your kit. Contents. The contents of your Zoe kit are one adult female lower torso with reinforced incisions above the symphysis pubis and below the umbilicus. Two normal uteri, one antiverted and one retroverted. These uteri have clear tops to allow you to fully demonstrate procedures such as IUD insertion and uterine sounding. White plastic pegs allow you to attach round and ovarian ligaments and fallopian tubes. Five normal patent services for use with these uteri. Two ovaries and two normal tubal fimbriae with tubing attached for use in practicing tubal occlusion by mini laparotomy or laparoscopy. Eight pieces of replacement tubing. One immediate postpartum uterus with tubing attached for practicing postpartum tubal occlusion by mini laparotomy. Finally, four non patent services for use in visual recognition. These include one normal paracervix as well as three abnormal services. Each is described in greater detail in your instruction manual. Assembly. To view the anatomical parts inside of Zoe, first you'll need to remove the skin. To do so, start at the top of the model. Carefully pull the skin and its foam lining away from the rigid base as one unit. Lift the skin and foam up and over the legs one leg at a time. Be as gentle as possible. This shell is made of material that approximates skin texture and it can tear. If you wish to change the antiverted uterus and normal cervix which are shipped attached to Zoe, you must first remove the uterus. Start by pulling the round ligaments away from the wall. Then hold the uterus steady while turning the wide gray ring counterclockwise until the cervix and uterine body are separated. To remove the cervix, turn the thin gray ring counterclockwise until it comes off. You can then push the cervix out through the vagina. To reassemble, simply reverse this process. Tighten the thin gray ring to ensure that the cervix is locked firmly in place. If you choose the antiverted or retroverted uterus, attach the ovaries, tubal fimbriae, and round ligaments. With the postpartum uterus, attach the fimbriae. To replace the skin and foam lining, start by pulling them down around the legs. Then make sure the rectal opening is aligned with the opening in the rigid base. Pull the skin and foam over the top of the model. Finally, make sure both are pulled down firmly around the rigid base and the skin is smoothly fitted over the foam. Once you understand how Zoe's anatomical parts fit together, we suggest you change them through this opening at the top of the model. This helps to preserve Zoe's outer shell as you will only have to remove it for demonstrations or to change the postpartum uterus. Care and maintenance. In handling the model, use the same gentle techniques you would in working with a client. To avoid tearing Zoe's skin when performing a pelvic exam, use a dilute soap solution to lubricate the instruments and your gloved fingers. Do not write on Zoe with any type of marker or pen, as these marks may not wash off. Do not use betadine or any other antiseptic which includes iodine on Zoe. They will stain. 
clean Zoe after every training session using a mild detergent, followed by a clean water rinse. Store Zoe in the plastic bag and blue nylon carrying case provided with your kit. Do not wrap Zoe in other plastic bags, newspaper, plastic wrap, or any other kind of material as these may discolor the skin. Applications. Zoe is a versatile training tool ideal for demonstrating and practicing the following procedures. Vaginal speculum exam using a bivalve speculum. This allows visual recognition of normal services as well as cervical abnormalities. Bimanual pelvic exam including palpation of normal and pregnant uteri. IUD insertion and removal, including swabbing the cervix, applying the tenaculum, sounding the uterus, and actual insertion from inserting the applicator to cutting the strings. Diaphragm sizing and fitting. Laparoscopic inspection and tubal occlusion using fallop rings or other clips through the incision just below the umbilicus. And finally, mini laparotomy, both interval through the incision above the symphysis pubis and postpartum through the incision below the umbilicus. This video has been designed to give you information on the contents of your Zoe kit, its assembly, care and maintenance, and applications. Other kits available with your Zoe model are the postpartum IUD insertion kit with two postpartum uteri. The first uterus is for manual placement of an IUD immediately after delivery of the placenta. The second uterus is for IUD insertion using instruments during the first 48 hours after delivery. A duckbill shaped postpartum cervix is also included. Another kit available is the palpation kit. This contains one normal non-pregnant uterus and six uteri with externally palpable pathologies. Finally, there's the hysteroscopy simulator kit. This kit contains one normal non-pregnant uterus and six uteri with internal pathologies. These pathologies can be viewed through the hysteroscope. If you would like more information on your Zoe gynecologic simulator and the kits which expand its use, contact Gomard Scientific Company. For information on using your Zoe model for clinical skills training, contact Japigo Corporation. <laughs>